Hi everyone, Laura Cornish here. I'm the editor of Mining Review Africa and today I'm joined by Alex Gross, the Managing Director of the Investing in African Mining in Darva Conference. Alex, I think after the last couple of years you've become an expert hmm. on mining. I'm trying to keep up with you. So, in light of that, can you tell me about some of the trending topics that you've identified hmm. for mining in Africa? That's no, a great question. So there's there's a chap called Harry Chapman, you may know. I do. Um, so Harry's job is, is to research the market and, and we, we try and strike a balance between you want to go early enough that you can really plan and have the best speakers or if you do it too early six months time you could be out of date so we're kind of on that cusp at the moment I think one thing that's really clear that's come through everything is resource nationalism in Africa now that's obviously playing out a lot more obviously in some countries maybe like Tanzania DRC than others um, but I think that's going to be a huge thing um, I think looking close to home in South Africa the Charter um, we're going to try and get a real good debate going on in, on the main stage around that, have all the different players involved. And I think the DRC um, is a huge story. Yeah. And again, our job there is, is to be the sort of the convener of the African mining world. And to do that, you can't not have something in the DRC. So again, we have a big session looking at the DRC and trying to get all the different players involved with that. Okay, that sounds but good. But I think, I think resource nationalism and, and the future of Africa competing on a global stage is, is sort of two of the big themes. Okay, well, that sounds good. Alex, we're in South Africa, mining in Darbra is in South Africa, mm -hmm. and that links to the Mining Charter 3 that's just been implemented. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on Mining Charter 3? Mm -hmm. um, well, I've been, I've been working here for a few years now in South Africa, and I, I mean, I fall in love with the place personally. And so we always want South Africa as a jurisdiction, mining jurisdiction, to do well. And it's, it's kind of been sad looking, looking with what's happened. When you think of the talent and the employee talent and experience you have in South Africa, what's in the ground, the resources are almost second to none. And yet, when we speak to international investors, there's a real reluctance to move into South Africa. And I think some of the big corporates, are, there's a reluctance to move there. And so this was needed. And I think, I think a lot of everyone's... When I look back where we were a year ago, we're miles yeah, in front of that. And you look what Roger and the, and the team at the Minerals Council have done, you look at the new minister and what his team have done, everyone's had to make compromises. I'm sure it's not exactly what everybody wanted when they started out, but I think we're probably at a position now where we can actually have an, an exciting industry again. And it will, I think everyone, when you look at the, when you look at the feedback, everyone seems quite happy. And so as an organiser in South Africa, in mining, we're delighted because we just want to be at the middle of a successful industry doing what we can to help. Absolutely. So I think we're probably going to have to, without doubt, discuss that a bit more and open people's views up and you'll see a main, something on the main stage around that. Your mining job is the best platform to do that. Yeah, I think no one can hide from the mining charge at Mining Indaba. <laughs> Absolutely I mean, not. That would be difficult. Um, Alex, Mining Indaba has embraced the theme of, of the future of mining, of yeah. digitalization. Why is automation and digitalization important for the African mining industry in your perspective? I think it has to be. I, don't, I know that, that sometimes you find some, some uh, resistance to this sort of thing, but I think as Africa, as an African mining industry, we need to realize we're not having competition between different regions in South Africa or even in between South Africa and DRC or Zimbabwe. For the investment and for the products, we're competing on a global scale with Australia, with Canada. With, and we need to be a world-class industry. And to do that, you've got to embrace the future, the digitization. I think it is coming. I think there's some people doing great stuff in it. I think we're trying to embrace that in our event. Um, you'll see it Mining 2050. Um, and obviously, South Africa's got some interesting challenges when you look at I mean, the, the length some of the mines have been around, the depth people have to go to. I don't think it's a particularly pleasant place for, for human beings to be anyway. So if we can find a better way to do that uh, and maybe don't lose jobs but change the jobs, the operating that from a distance rather than operating it underground, maybe that's good for everyone. Okay. So how are you bringing these themes into mining in Java? Mm. Well, we, we launched something called Mining 2050, uh, which is which kind I of... Which I love. Oh, did you? Good. Yes. So it's kind of what it's obvious what it is. It's what a mine's going to be like in 20, 30 years. Um, but actually looking now, really, what's happening now. And that was, yeah, you weren't the only person that loved it because yep. it was it was standing room only last year. So we've done the obvious thing and, and increased that by half a day for next year. So we're, we're speaking to people now, what are those topics going to be? And digitization, automation is, is obviously part of it. Brilliant. Alex, it's Mining in Java's 25th year anniversary mm -hmm. next year. What are some of the other exciting things that we can expect to see at Mining in Java mm -hmm. next year? Um, well, 
not wanting to be a terrible interviewee, we're on the cusp of making two or three really exciting announcements. It's going to be improving the delegate experience, making it more fun for them. Uh, we're hoping to, I went to see some venues to announce something really exciting today. Okay. Um, heads of state, well obviously we've still got the ministerial drive, but we, we've, we've got one head of state, which we've already announced, uh, the President of Ghana. And I'm expecting to be announcing future heads of state in the next couple of weeks. Super. So um, yeah, it's, it's going to be it's going to be the biggest and best work in Dub for many years. Okay. So we're talking to Alex often. So watch the space, and we will provide you with the latest news on what to expect from mining in Dub 2019. Cheers. Thank you.